All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get some furniture put together for a customer. So we're gonna, I'll show you how we open this box up. You can see on here that it actually shows no sharp things. So you don't wanna cut through it. So what I usually end up doing, I just get a screwdriver and you just use one little edge of it and then run it down your tape. And that way, this, when you're having your finger on there, won't penetrate through enough to actually damage anything inside. All right, so now we have it open. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up and see what we have in here. So, here's our instructions. So we're gonna go through these and see if there's anything special we need. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. It's gonna be you know, a pretty simple design, so we'll go ahead and get this put together. You can see that I have all the pieces laying on the ground here. So you can see everything that's around. So there's actually, this is enough for two benches. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the hardware pack open and I'm gonna get the right size and I'm gonna use the impact wrench to put everything together. All right, in the middle of putting this one together, because you can see all the you know, pocket holes are gonna go on the bottom. But I have this other piece that I just got here, but you can see they've actually put it backwards. So this is the wrong way around. So the only way this fits is if we do it with the screw holes are gonna be facing up after it's done. So we'll go ahead and get this put together for the customer, but I'll have to let them know about that. All right, we hit the first snag with this. And basically what it comes down to is the screws they give are not actually reaching. So we're gonna back up and I'm actually gonna take this back apart and we're gonna reinforce this and make sure it's not gonna break on them. All right, so I come to the conclusion what I'm gonna end up having to do is actually, I'm gonna use wood glue on the, the joints also, but the pocket screws that they gave are actually about a quarter inch too short for where they need to be. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and actually get some proper screws so that way I can actually put this together for them. All right, so here we are down in the basement. We're gonna finish up these stools for a customer. So let me show you what we got. See the difference in screws here between these. These short black ones are the ones that it came with. The longer silver ones are the ones we're gonna be putting in. Um, you can see they were just a little too short to grab to actually bite into the legs. All right, here's an example. This is one of the new screws that we have sticking out here. So let me show you what the old ones looked like. All right, and there's the old screw sticking out as far as it goes. You can see why it doesn't want to actually fasten in or tighten up to give any strength or stability when you screw it into these pocket holes. So essentially what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be using some wood glue on the ends of these and actually screwing everything in. So let me set it up on the camera and I'll put it in fast motion here.
All right, now, since this one had the holes on the wrong side, we gotta do something about these. And now since that one piece was cut wrong, we're gonna go ahead and we got these little plugs that I made up that we're gonna go and use in here. What I'm talking about is they put their pocket holes in the wrong side of this piece. They didn't put them on the underside, so they'll be seen. So now I got these that I made that I'll be able to put down inside there, glue these in, and then I'll cut it off and I'll touch them up with some paint to make them a little bit more blend in. So we're gonna get these glued in. All right, you can see I got them in there. They're glued in. So now we're just gonna let these dry and then I'll get that cut down later. All right, now you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm actually doing here. I got one leg. This one is fastened down tight. Now that's nice and tight. Now we'll do next one across. Can't tighten that yet. Gotta do this one.
All right, everything's nice and sturdy. Pipe off any excess glue. That one's done. Nice and sturdy. All right, what I wasn't showing was, you know, when you saw me wiping the glue off the excess that came out, this is where I'm putting it. I'm actually just wiping on a piece of just scrap garbage. This way I just don't get anything on the carpet. All right, but now the stools are done. I gotta finish that one once it finishes drying, but that's just gonna be cutting it off and then just touching up with a little bit of paint to make it blend in. But other than that, these are together and they'll be ready to be delivered. See, that's where I still have to let it dry and then cut those off.